Hello, this is Lachimi Kantivari. In previous tutorial, we have successfully installed Jamf server on Windows server, which is hosted at Amazon Web Services. So let me tell you something more about Jamf control panel. If you click on configure, you can see here a default editor. I have selected as notepad.exe and here is another option, auto start of modules. Suppose that currently your Apache server is running and if you shut down accidentally your Windows server from remote location then you have to come here and you have to start Jamf server. Why? Because of that you are not selected start uh, auto start of Apache and MySQL so you don't auto start this server when your Windows restart. So if you click it MySQL and now if your windows restart this Jamf server will automatically restart. Ok click on save and if you click on net start you can see here these are the uh, addresses socket addresses and the port which has been already taken by some services. HTTD has taken a T port number HTTD also has taken 443 and MySQL has taken 3306 port number and similarly all others. Okay. Now one more thing here. Let's close it. So if you come here you see here 35.166.166.158 is IP address to this server and in previous tutorial I have already made this server to the public so that means now you can access this server from your computer from anywhere on the internet let me type this IP address in my computer ok come here in your original account uh, in your computer ok so type here 135.166.166.158 if you open it from your computer now you can see your remote computer is accessible and you are getting the page which you have hosted on that server locally so we have hosted this jam papachi server if uh, you can come and see it see here so in the local host dashboard and in my computer here it is accessing IP address so this IP address redirects computer to the hddoc folder of Jamf server and in hddoc folder there is index.php which redirects the link into the dashboard file into the dashboard folder and if you want to redirect your domain name to this IP address you can come to the, your uh, registrar and then you can go into the domain manage and after that you can forward uh, domain name to the particular this IP address unfortunately godid.com is uh, uh, not responding right now so we will come back to this later here fine now let's uh, host a website okay a particular website in previous tutorial I have hosted mbreathe website statically so now let's host this mbreathe dynamically on local server at amazon web services instance ec2 ok so come here into the mbreathe and then on youtube and here so I want to take this website ok so copy it and we need to paste it here into the HD doc folder so here is HD doc folder and this index.php is redirecting so delete this index.php ok delete this favicon also now just paste whatever we have copied from the original desktop just wait for a minute it will complete this copy 
and then I'll show you how it will look like perfect so su it copied successfully all the file into the htdoc folder now if we open localhost on the server then it will open index.html file so let's open localhost here okay click on now it is opening index.html folder which is into the htdoc folder so here is mgreen and this is a dynamic website it has a php code also so it is look at the local host you have successfully hosted a website and if you open a blog about us contact us so here everything is opening now few more things I want to tell you so let's access this website from your computer over the internet so minimize this uh, server which is I have connected with the RDP and then come to here and let's type only IP address of that server if you type only the IP address of that server it will access local server at the server then the local server will redirect your request to the index.html so here you have successfully hosted your website on the server which is running at AWS now here everything is opening blog about us contact us you know carrier here everything is opening from here let's come to the home page okay so now let me show you how to forward uh, DNS number to this IP address how to forward your domain to this IP address so when you click here uh, when you type mbreath.in then mbreath.in will automatically forward your uh, request to 35.166.166.158 IP address mbreath.in and mbreath.com both uh, uh, sir, both domains are uh, purchased at the godid.com but unfortunately godid.com is not responding anyway I'm telling you the process when you go into the manage your DM, manage your domain name then click on a particular domain and then go there into the DNS forwarding and forward your uh, DNS number uh, forward your domain name to particular IP address so if anybody types your domain name then th that request will be forwarded to this IP address okay let's come back to the server so here uh, we have hosted uh, our website at local jamp server so in the next tutorial we will see how to make a contact form and uh, how to send email from a local server using a PHP so thanks for this tutorial and uh, stay tuned for next tutorial and you can subscribe this channel so that uh, you can directly get updates in your inbox